I'm Robbie D. This is Controversy, and we're here with an update. Tell them what's going on, Controversy. Well, we're simply basically updating you guys to let you know that, sure, the show is... Uh, we got a lot of things that are coming across your way. The controversy. All the things <laughs> up there are balls. How come we're not a ball? Hey, someone commented on my... It's been over 200 years. They cannot replicate that same nonsense that they that they actually came up with as far as finding out what Big G is. I think we should hang two balls just right here in the studio <laughs> and we'll just find out you know, what the mass of the sun is. The mass of the sun is this because we hung two balls here in our studio. Exactly. It's silly. You know, there's different theories and I understand it's like who fully knows truly what it is, but yes. we know it isn't a spinning ball flying through space. That we've determined. No, it's not a spinning ball. And hey, hey, this is the reason why the atheist community don't, like they find, they laugh at us and they find, <laughs> it's crazy and nothing happens. You're a flathead. Hey, if the Bible says the earth does not move, you're going to have to explain how you still believe in the Bible, yet you're able to still say that you believe that you are on a spinning ball that spins at a thousand miles per hour. Ouch. Gravity. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Um, gravity also has violated the laws of thermodynamics and it also violates uh, mathematics. And I will show that to you in the next upload, so make sure you, you subscribe to my channel. That's the thing with the gravity, they call it the big G, but again, it <laughs> has this mysterious godlike properties that anytime they, you know, hey, why uh, why do the balls spin that way? Gravity. Gravity, <laughs> gravity right? That's it, it doesn't matter, whatever, you know, problem. Like, how come the moon does gravity? Gravity, you know? gravity, gravity yeah. is the answer to everything. Yeah, the stars are a trillion miles away though, how is that oh, gravity. gravity, right? <laughs> I mean, everything is gravity, so That's I mean, it. it doesn't really matter. There's no scientific explanation other than gravity. Gravity, a force that's pulling you and me down and down. And there's no doubt in my mind, with all the programming, with all the movies, everything, they are gearing us up. And if you ever That's noticed it. how at the beginning it was all like, oh, they're there, the alien invasion. Yeah. It's transformed now to there are helpers. Yeah. They're here to help us, That's to give it. us the answers because you know what? We're just so dumb and oh. stupid. We're going to blow up the planet. Here's the whole conspiracy community here. And you who believes in the flat earth, you are like this way. Okay. You know, you're, you're, you're not even on the spectrum. Let's visit the planet of Mars. There is so much to learn on the planet of Mars. I was actually following every time those updates came from about Mars. How many times did they discover <laughs> water? How many times? <laughs> New update, we found water. New update, we found <laughs> uh, water. It was yeah. constant, water, water, yeah. water. I simply believed it. And uh, when, then when, when it got to the moon landing, I first I believed it. And Sorry, then, controversy to interrupt. Uh, whatever, we got a transmission here. What was that? Uh, NASA is on the line right now. Uh, they, they discovered water. What? Once again, yep, it's there. It's confirmed water. Oh! That's, that's fantastic. Unbelievable. <laughs> you know, we discovered water again. <laughs> water. <laughs> and here's the fact, when it comes down to it, and I've told people time and time again that believe in the moon landing, and that's up to you, you can look into it. But if you believe they landed on the moon, I'm going to tell you right now, you're never going to see it happen ever again. It's never happened, it you might happen. disagree, yeah. but you're never going to see it. Your children aren't going to see it, it's never going to happen. They're yeah. going to go to places so far off that we can't confirm. Yeah. Our technology is caught up to the moon. Yes. We can all definitely see if there was, you know, lies going on. Yeah. That's why they're going to go to further planets. And when the technology catches up to Mars, yeah. they're going to go further off into some <laughs> other galaxy. Keep dreaming. Keep dreaming. Maybe one day you'll eventually open your eyes and you'll say, Ah, oh, it actually never happened. <laughs> You know? <laughs> I don't know what kind of Wi-Fi or what kind of internet connection you have, but they have some incredible technology. They're sending back pictures from Mars. It's 140 million miles away. Yes. They're sending pictures back. Yeah, but we're talking on the phone. Yeah. We're only, we're only what, how many, how many, like, let's say maybe 20, 20, miles. 20, 20 miles. We're cutting off. Or, we're yeah, yeah, our we're, cell phone. yeah, we're talking and then all of a sudden the reception keeps cutting off every few, few minutes. Well, Neil and Buzz. I'm talking to you by telephone from the Oval Room at the White House. And this certainly has to be the most historic telephone call ever made from the White House. I just can't tell you how proud we all are of what you And these superheroes, it's like now they're, they're, they're converging. They are bringing them together. Absolutely. Right? And, and as children are also watching these people, oh, I want to have superpowers. I want to be... These superheroes he are, are superhumans that come to save human beings from their own destruction. 
You know, you can look at all these movies. What are they doing? Where there's transformers, or it's the it, they're the, all, enemy, the enemy always enemy. comes from above. From what above. What is that? Yes. <laughs> have you noticed how Hollywood makes those movies where they have uh, the Earth, and then they depict people even coming from space, or even whatever, even when the Autobots, even any movie, period, any movie that deals with them or any any uh, individuals coming to the planet Earth. Ask yourselves this question, where in all of Hollywood movies do you see them depict the earth spinning at a thousand miles per hour? Oh, yeah. yeah, have you thought about that? <laughs> and, and many people are probably looking at us and they're calling us flatheads. <laughs> well, hey, you know well, what, when they're calling us like there's nothing up here, like you know. But you know what, there's a reason and what the question is, what's the end game? Yeah. You know, what's the end game with all the this? The end game, again, this is all deception because at the end of the day, uh uh uh, I don't think it's a good idea to spoil the whole video. Now, should you think? What do you think, Rob? No, we're not gonna spoil it. Uh, we're just giving you a sneak peek, and I hope you enjoyed. A lot of exciting things are coming your way. Yep. So, so, anyways, that's about it. We're gonna make this a wrap. Stay tuned. It's coming right away. Lots of excitement, and uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. We're, we're having a good time. Man, this guy here. This guy, I think uh, I remember. I called him a flathead. <laughs> you know what's crazy? You're calling me a flathead, and you're a bigger flathead than I am. Hey, hey, but you. You're a hardcore flathead. You were first recognized as the first flathead. Hey man, my hair is like coming up and you're calling me flathead. It's like we're both in this together, man. You're a flathead, we're both flatheads. Okay, I guess we're gonna agree on one thing. Once you go flat, <laughs> you, you never, never go, go back. back.